guilty about the lousy job you did raising your own kids? I'm your mommy. And I'm going to take care of you, okay? Okay? I'm your mommy. Well, Pete, look, with any luck, you'll be back in your crib without anyone knowing who took you. Well, that's the plan anyway. And uh, just warning you, your mama's going to do a lot of yelling, but that's only because she loves you. What's that? Yeah, I believe you're right. It's me she's going to hate. Yeah. Look, what I'm saying yeah. is that we have to respect each other, and we can't just... <sighs> Peter! Come here, come back, sweetie. Come here, you boogie boy. I got him. I got him. Yeah, come on. You can't just drop in and out whenever you feel like it. I'm going to call before I come here. What do you think? I'm just some airhead teeny bopper? No, I don't. But I've worked very hard to get Peter on a routine, and I want you to respect it. If you came here to find out if I've accepted Bridget as a client, the answer is no, I have not. But you do know that she's threatening to file for custody, don't you? Of course you know. Ed's your best friend. And so are you. And I am not going to deliberately put myself between my two closest friends in this case. Or is that what you came here to ask me to do? No. No, I'm just running scared. Bridget made her threat and then nothing. Silence. I haven't heard a thing. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm not about to ask Bridget and, and I'm not going to ask Ed. And so I just thought that... I'm not going to ask you to take my side in this. I'm not going to try and hire you as a lawyer, because I don't think that would look good. I mean, I don't think that I should be the first person to hire a lawyer. Do you? Mary! Vanessa! Mary! Vanessa! Mary, I need you! I have a right to see him, Vanessa. I'm sorry. I was helping Mara with the... Here you are. Go ahead, go ahead. Take him. Keep the children out of here, please. Yes, Vanessa, he just came barging in here. Get out! Do you think removing my grandson from the room is going to make any Get difference? Get out of here! How dare you? Listen, I gave you and Billy a chance to settle this right? fairly, and you blew it! So don't give me any of your righteous indignation and your anger. Doesn't interest me. Now, my grandson, he interests me, and I swear to God on my life, I'm going to take him back. Stop it. Stop attacking her. I know you want to win this case for me, but I'm not going to let you do it by destroying Peter's mother. Will the court please come to order? Mrs. Lewis, sit down. Counselor, will you please get your client under control? No, I have a question, no, please. I, who needs to be controlled, it's you. And these brilliant, destructive lawyers in this entire system that take the case about two women who love a child and turn it into some kind of horrible character assassination contest. Mrs. Lewis, are you saying you now wish to relinquish custody of the child? I'm here to see my grandson. Roger, right now really isn't a good time. Though. Don't play games with me. I'm here to see Peter. Well, we were just on our way out of here, so... What are you doing, honey? Say hello to your grandpa. Hi, honey. Wave goodbye. You've kept him from me long enough. Look, that was your fault, and we're not here to play your games. Enough. 
understand what is so difficult about this arrangement. If you want to see him, it's fine, but you have to call before you come over. He's my flesh and blood. You have no legal rights to him, and you know it. You're making a big mistake. Nobody's going to keep me from Peter, and you're going to regret it. The only thing I regret is that you're any relation to him at all. Please give me the chance. Please give me the chance to get to know my son. Please give my son the chance to get to know me. As I am, flawed, imperfect, a, a human being. I want him to know that I love him. Please give me that chance. Please. What is this, sweetie? Hi, Daddy. Pass. Okay, ready? Down. Set. Hi. Do it. Oh, yeah. High five. Double high five. Low five. You're great. You know that? Uh, oh, this one's my favorite, sweetie. Look, it's Mommy and Daddy and Peter, and we're all together, huh? Wow, that's beautiful. You know who would love that picture? Daddy. Should we give it to him? Yeah. Okay, we'll give it to him later when we see him. Yeah, let's wait to that to Mommy. All right, sweetie. Then I don't know why you're being so hostile to me. Really? I really don't. No, take one guess. I cleaned up around here, that's all. You certainly weren't going to do it. Somebody has to clean up and make Hart happy. That does it. I have had it with you. I mean, I've tried to give you a break, but no more. I am sick and tired of you trying to get your manipulating little paws into my fiancé. Hart is not yours, and he never will be. You can <laughs> mop and scour and sweep all you want, but you're not Cinderella, Bridget, and the only way your Prince Charming is going to come is in your pathetic dreams. Stop yelling at my mommy. Oh, do you know I missed you every day? Huh? Every day? Come here. Sit with me. Oh, you're getting so big. So big. Let me see what you did. I drew it. You drew it? That's fantastic. Is that you and me? That's Dylan. That's Dylan? Oh, boy. He's a lucky man, that Dylan. Lucky man. I thought you might like to see him before he goes to school. Yeah. Yeah, I've been missing this kid like nuts. I, uh, I appreciate it. No problem. Bert, why are we doing this? For the hell of it. You have something you'd rather be doing? You're stuck with the baby anyway. I am not stuck with Peter. I'm just stuck. Yeah, I think I know the feeling. Okay. So we try to compromise, but what if we don't agree? Well? Well, we just have to compromise just the way any two good parents do. <laughs> well, I've never heard of, of a arrangement like this. I mean, between a birth mother and an adoptive mother, I, would the courts accept it? I don't care. I mean, do you really? You saw what they do accept. You sitting up there on that stand and being ripped apart.
treetop. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Maybe you'd have better luck if you stuck to one song and sang it all the way through. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Maybe you'd have better luck if you took him for a walk. Oh, you would just love that, wouldn't you? Yeah. You would just love for me to leave and leave you here all alone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not going to happen. What, so you could steal the brass ring? Uh-uh, forget that. I'm going to keep my eye on you all the way. Uh, okay. Just sit here for a minute. Don't take it personally. I'm not big on babies. We'll be much better friends when you start shaving. You, you just run along. Okay. And I'll take Honey. care of Peter. It'll give us a chance. Why don't you sit up here to get acquainted? There you go. Can you say mummification? Um, good boy. See, Vanessa's gonna watch oh, him. Good Vanessa? Yeah. Vanessa Chamberlain? Uh-huh. When did she get into child care? Well, she and I share them. You share? Mm -hmm. You share the fruits of your loin with, with, with that? Why? Why? I mean, what does she have on you? We'll discuss that later after P-E-T-E-R is asleep, okay? okay. You know what I think, little buddy? I think you got too many women fussing over you. Not only do you have two mothers, but you got that babysitter, Maggie, that talks to you like you're a French poodle or something. Look how she's got you dressed. Here, let me fix you up. Uncle Maddie will take care of you, make you look cool. Yeah, yeah, you look cool. Like this. Hang on, stay right there. How about this cap? Can you wear this? Is it too big for you? Turn right here, let me see it. Yeah, that's great. You know, I wish I could stay home with you tonight. We jump around on the beds and play with those little toy cars of yours up and down the hallway. But I gotta go out and be a grown-up tonight. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you gotta do that. It's, uh... You know, put on the tie, wash behind the ears. It's kind of a command performance. One of your mothers is inviting me to dinner, and the other one is starting to throw me out. Yeah, one of your mommies is starting to throw me out if I don't show up. So what am I going to do? Got to show up.